First of all, I want to say a massive thank you for joining in again. I think you made a great decision. You're developing your own mind and you're really going to enjoy it as well. Um, over the next few uh, days, weeks, I want to think about new ways that I can get and share all your amazing work. I can include it in the videos. I can connect everyone because the responses have just been absolutely amazing. Um, for today, though, what we're going to do is develop your understanding from the shape puzzles to all kinds of different maths, maths questions. Really connect your understanding. I hope you're going to really enjoy it. Well, everyone, I thought we'll start by treating ourselves to another puzzle. This one is a particular favourite of mine. I actually did it one way. I calculated it one way at first. And I've just looked back at it now and I've realised, you know, I could have started from a different place. So the first thing I want you to think about is where can you start from? Or where are the different places you can start from with this puzzle? Um, also, you might want to go on and try and work out the value of, of the triangle, the square and the circle. So either where do you start from? Where are the different places that you can start from? Or what are those, uh, those values? So pause the video and have a little go at that. Okay, let's have a look. Well, there's different places you, you could start. Originally, I, I think I'd, I'd, I looked at this line and I thought two triangles and a circle equals 14. And then I've got two triangles, a circle and a square. And I worked out the value of the square. Now, just now, I've actually looked back and I've, I've looked at it a, a slightly different way because I've noticed there's two 31s. There's a 31 here and a 31 here. So I looked at this a square, a triangle and a square is 31. A square, a triangle, a square and a circle is 31. So having that extra circle doesn't change the total at all. So the circle must be worth a zero. Um, and then I thought, well, where am I going to go to next? I, I thought I'll, I'll go to this one. So I've got two circles and a square. So without any calculation, I know that square is 12. Um, and then where shall I go for the triangle? Well, I think the easiest place is probably this line here. Um, so two triangles plus a circle, which is zero, equals 14. So each triangle must be worth seven. I wonder where you started from. Oh, I just love the design of that question. Now, I think today is going to be a super, super useful today in you con connecting your understanding of different types of mathematical questions. So I've called today Connecting Puzzles. We're going to have a look at some shape puzzles, but we're also then going to have a look at some different worded questions and see how essentially they're the same. You can use the same skills. Today, I think it's going to be super useful for you. Um, so this is, uh, is an example that we've looked at. An apple and an orange cost 40p, and that's a picture that could represent this. And An apple and three oranges cost 90p. How much does an apple cost? We looked at, well, first of all, I need to think, well, this difference here is 50p. So each orange must be 25p. Um, and so then I can just work out the value of the apple um, to make that top line 40p, 15p. Um, so let's have a look at something that, that's similar. So here's a worded question. I wonder how you can apply that to help you with this. It costs £22 for three adults and a child to go to the cinema. And it costs £12 for two adults to go to the cinema. So how expensive is a child's ticket at the cinema? I'm going to invite you to do one of two things. One is draw a picture that would represent that or, or a, some kind of a number sentence. Um, and the second thing is to see if you can work out the answer. Pause the video and have a go. OK, let's have a look. Now, there's different ways, of course, this can be done. Um, let me show you how I went about doing this one, because rather than drawing a circle, I, I actually just wrote letters instead. So the adults are represented by the A and the child by the C. So A plus A plus A plus C is tw equals £22. And then I know A plus A, two adults, is £12. I find that a simpler way of taking all those words and, and putting it into something mathematical. Um, so to work out the value of, of each adult ticket, well, two is £12. So, of course, each one is £6. So I've just changed that number sentence slightly. And now I just need to look at that top one. Three lots of six is £18. So a child's ticket must be £4. And I think the key skill is being able to interpret those words and um, into simplifying it in, in the way that I wrote those number sentences. Um, now let's go back. This again was another example using um, three number sentences that we've looked at. A pear and a banana cost 45p. A pear and a plum cost 35p. A banana and a plum cost 40p. How much does each fruit cost? 
Um, and then again, we looked at these top two examples and said, well, the green one is the same. We're just looking at this difference here. The red is 10 less than the yellow. Um, and in total, so the red 10 less than the yellow, and in total, they're 40p. So the yellow 25p, the red 15p. That's got a sum of 40p and a difference of 10p. And then, of course, it was just working out the value of the pair, a 20p. Um, now, we're going to have a look at a similar shape puzzle. And then in your independent task, you're actually going to have a go at a worded question that is kind of like the shape puzzle, even though they look very different. So let's have a look at this shape puzzle here. OK, so a circle plus a star equals 14, a square plus a circle equals 11, and a star plus a square equals 15. Now, to start off with, I want you to think about this. Which is going to be the largest, which is going to be the smallest, before you do any calculation? The circle or the star or the square? Which will be largest and which will be smallest? Pause the video and see if you can explain why. OK, let's have a look. And we've got this key idea that we need to look at two sentences together. So I actually start when I'm looking for the largest and thinking, well, the, lar the, the two number sentence with the largest amounts are the 15 and the 14. And the stars in both of those, the star will be the largest. The, the two number sentence with the smallest amount are the circles. So I think that the circle, it will be the smallest value of those three values. Now, again, let, let's just focus on some of that information. So I can see that a circle plus a star equals 14 and a square plus a circle equals 11. What's the same? Well, it's the circle. There's a circle in each number sentence. The only thing that's different, well, the things that are different are we've got a star here and a square here. And this is three more. 14 is three more than 11. Um, so I'm going to move on with the knowledge that the star is three more than the square. Star is three more than the square. And in total, the star and the square equals 15. And so now I need to see if I can think of that combination. Um, I do that by thinking of, well, the, they're the same values apart from the star is three more. So in total, they'll be worth 12 plus that three extra for the star. So divide the 12 by two, that's six and three plus six. Um, so I calculate, and of course, we've looked at these calculations before. I calculate the star is worth nine, squares worth six. And then I can just look at the rest of the information and calculate the value of the circle. I think I'll do that using this top line here. So uh, the star is nine, and then nine plus five is 14. So again, we've had a look at another shape puzzle. In your independent task, you'll have a look at a worded question. I wonder if you can apply this technique to that question. As ever, wherever you're viewing the video from, and I always suggest now home learning year five and six, um, if you just go under wherever the video is, there will be a little um, blue tab under there. Or, of course, for the previous videos, they're all under here. But that's where you find the work for the for the day. Um, this one is today's. Um, so there's task A, task B, and an extend task. So my suggestion is this. Have a go at either task A or task B. And if you are able, you might draw pictures to show your understanding there. Think, how can I, this is the same, this is different. Use those techniques. Um, and um, there's an extend task, which I really love. It's an agree or disagree question. It's a real thinker, that one. As normal, the, quest, the answers are on that next page under there. I'll not show you them now. Uh, so feel free to check your answers there. And I will really look forward to seeing you back tomorrow to extend this thinking further. I shall see you then.